Welcome to AC Theory Lesson 3. AC Lesson 3. Uh, in this video we're going to do a calculation for a voltage drop. We've got a, a load here that is 300 feet away from the source. It has a source of 240 volts and it is drawing 10 amps. So the question is what is the voltage at the load or what is our voltage drop? And is our voltage drop within uh, the National Electrical Code 3%? So the National Electrical Code allows us a 3% drop either on the branch circuit or the feeder. We're going to say this is a branch circuit. It allows us 5% between the two. So, but since this is just the branch circuit, we're going to do the calculation with these numbers. Uh, EVD then is our formula. The voltage drop is equal to K. In this case, K for copper wire. We're going to use 10.4 ohms per circular mill foot. So that's 10.4 for the copper wire. The current is 10 amps. So we'll put 10 amps in there for current. We need to multiply by 2 because the load is 300 feet away, but that's just the length of one wire. So we need to multiply by 2 to get the length of both wires. So 2 times 300. We're going to put all that over 10,380 is the circular mill area of number 10 wire. So once we plug all these numbers in and do the math, then we end up with a voltage drop of 6.01 volts. So 6 volts is how much we're dropping. So our load is going to see basically 234 volts. Is that within our 3%? 3% of 240 volts, 240 times 0 0.03 equals 7.2 volts. So the answer is yes, we're within our 3% voltage drop and this load would function properly according to the National Electrical Code. So that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next video.